Unfortunately, nearly every American is either a caregiver for someone suffering or at least knows someone who is suffering with Alzheimer's. The Alzheimer's Association is working to lessen that struggle through awareness and education. Our Cody Dennis has more on an awareness event held in Rapid City today and a newly approved drug designed to slow the effects of this devastating disease. Every year, the Alzheimer's Association holds events all over the state intended to spread awareness of the disease and education on how someone can get help. So helping people understand um, what is dementia, what is Alzheimer's disease, um, how can I best help support somebody by learning communication strategies, uh, caregiving strategies. Um, so really to provide some education, but also allow people the opportunity to share their experience um, and ask questions. Over the past couple of years, the FDA has approved two different drugs for helping the treatment of Alzheimer's. Legimbi and Denonimab, both with the same intended effect. It's not a cure, we don't have a cure yet, that's our ultimate goal. But it's another option and it allows people to live a longer period of life um, by slowing the progression of the disease. Kuttner explains just how important having a little more time with a loved one is. Well, I think it would allow people to do things that they have always wanted to do. Maybe it's go on a trip, you know, that they've been talking about and you know, allows them, maybe it's uh, the birth of a grandchild or being able to go to a wedding that they have in you know, four or five months. While the new drugs aren't a cure, they are a step toward finding one. Those looking to donate to the Alzheimer's Association can find a link on our website. Reporting for Coda Territory News, I'm Cody Dennis.